Hello guys and welcome back! In today's video I will try the rubber base of the Brent Blue Room. I recently did an unboxing of the Brent, you can check it out here if you like. And uh, uh, this is, for my understanding, is a Polish brand. it sells also internationally and uh, if you go on their website you can notice that uh, all the brand is, uh, is basically like with this luxurious uh, style and all their packaging is absolutely uh, beautiful and you literally screaming Amadiva. So let's find out if also what is inside is that uh, uh, fabulous how actually look the outside. Okay, so this is the rubber essence pink of Bululu. That's a close up of how the bottle look like, which is absolutely a gorgeous bottle. We have instruction and everything you need to know about the product. These bottles are very large actually. You can see the difference between one, for example, of Semilac and uh, uh, the usually the semi-lac have for example like seven millimeters and this one has like nine millimeters inside but like the bottle herself is really really large and that's how this base look like which is absolutely gorgeous 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 it's like this milky pink and uh, has this very large uh, large petals of uh, glitters inside. The brush is a pretty large brush and also uh, the hole, this hole here from when the product is coming out, it is uh, very much smaller than the usual bottles that I uh, that I used before and this is not just a visual thing, it's something that you can feel uh, and i show you what I mean. This uh, is like from the Semilac, you can see that it's like slightly larger and this is, I'm not saying again that it's like for visual purposes, it's because you really feel that you cannot get that much product out how you would like it because uh, the hole is just like make it that very difficult. Also, I was curious to see, for example, this one starts with the stars and, uh, and definitely is smaller even of this one. My hand is already ready to go, I just wanna clean again with cleaner before starting and uh, this is how my nails look like, I will work on my natural nails My nails are actually so good looking after I gave them like two months of break and the only one that broke actually is this one, so this one will extend And I start right away applying the product, I will apply a thin layer as a base I'm going very slow at the beginning because I wanted to see how is the consistency of the product and I would say that the consistency is uh, is very it's pretty dense is uh, like a little bit like a it's very gluey dense consistency is not leaking anywhere that's what I mean so it's a good thing to work with I will dry in the lamp for 60 seconds and then I'm going with my layer up on my nail and I would say that at first impression the product is really really easy to work with because it's just following what you want to do and it's not really not going anywhere I will use this thin brush 01 of Seeker to help me out going everywhere and expand uh, the gel everywhere And doing again the same things all over the, uh, my other nails. And as you can see here, the flakes are make it like a little, it's a little bit tricky with these flakes because they just uh, make the form, you know, the gel look a little bit weird. So you have to just 
uh, work out a little bit with the with the brush to position them better on the surface of uh, the nail for an overlay, for example, like that. And again, I never use uh, that product. I never use this brand, uh, and I never use uh, a builder base uh, with uh, these uh, very large glitter uh, flakes like this one. So everything I say, take it for granted, is just my first impression and my opinion on the what I basically experienced using this product for the first time. For top coat I will use the stars from the stars no wipe and applying all over the nails except one. And I just skipped this one in here from the top coat because I had these stickers around that I purchased uh, at Rossmann and I really like them and I wanted to try them so bad and I feel actually they can uh, match pretty nicely this, uh, this look here so I decided to take choosing one of the butterflies and uh, I will apply it on uh, these fingers here. I didn't know how to position it because I have the tendency that I will like that the butterfly will face me but uh, after I thought well if someone else have to enjoy my nails have to the butterfly should face uh, uh, everyone else so I just uh, uh, attach it like I will basically do if I will have like nail art for example and applying top coat And the last nail, which is my thumb, I wanted to extend it and they sent me the package like as a gift to try these forms. These forms should be the forms that uh, are actually aluminium inside, so I was really really curious to try them out. And they feel really actually stable and the glue is really really strong. That's the way I like to do to prepare my form and I like to attach them, attach them like that usually so that is just my thing, I'm not saying that's something that someone else should have done. And uh, uh, right away the first impression of applying this form is like stability, they're super stable, yes I believe there is aluminium inside, you cannot feel it or see it really, but they're really so stable, they give me such a good first impression and uh, they can fit perfectly under actually my nail even if it's pretty short. So so my first thought that I really like them very much actually and I'm going in uh, to try to extend it with this rubber base because on the website it's saying that you can extend it like literally a few millimeters so I wanted to try that
So in theory, till now, the product is still feeling actually good uh, to extend. Uh, it's like a couple of millimeters because it's not moving anywhere, it's pretty dense, so that is good. But now I dry it in the lamp and everything feels dry, right? It's a very pretty thin skeleton, so I thought it's time to remove it. And uh, it just didn't remove it. So they come as a huge surprise for me. I thought everything that I could fail that I did wrong. I actually took again my lamp and this time I took the, uh, took the portable one and because she's newer and I tried to dry it again because I thought maybe she's not dry in my regular lamp. So nothing was happening, nothing was helping. So I thought maybe it's too thin. And I decided basically to create uh, the overlay, all the overlay and construct all my overlay of nail and uh, not being too uh, thick, but uh, it's going to be, it should be enough for, for be able to disattach it from the form for my experience actually with other product. And uh, yeah, that's what happened next. Okay guys, so I dry it and let's just try this again, okay? Because it's the first time that I'm like, Maybe I should remove that, no, it's impossible. So what's going on here? Someone can tell me what I did wrong because I just cannot get it. Okay, she's disattaching. Oh my god, I I don't know. So, what I can guess is that uh, I shouldn't remove the form when it was that thin or layer with the skeleton, but still, oh, it's not this attack. Is this such just there? And I cannot make her come off here, which is absolutely bizarre. So. I don't know here what happened. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, she's coming off, guys. Ooh, she's super touching here. Well, probably because it's really thin here. Probably because of that. Oh my god. Oh my god, the glue is so strong. Okay, well, that was uh, a trip. That was a little weird. Okay, so that was a little weird. Oh, that was very weird for me. Oh my god, she couldn't. I couldn't get her off. But let's try to see if I can file this. And uh, if she's dry enough, she's dry underneath. At least, yes, she's dry underneath. So what could have happened? Well, for my guess is that, uh, I don't know, I, I was not that precise there and uh, I uh, that was too thin, so I just couldn't, you know, get it out. But the stickiness was so strong, I don't know, that's just weird. That was a little weird. Um, probably my fault, I'm pretty sure that can be my fault, but... And it's a shame because this form, uh, I love it. She was absolutely stain and stick perfectly to my finger and uh, actually was great as a form. Uh, I like her a lot. I just don't know what I what I did there. So and after a lot of questionings, I uh, took the cleaner and I cleaned the surface and uh, I just decided to file it and see what happened. Uh, even in the filing, it still feel so. Uh, sticky and so that you have also a hard time to file it actually and she's really gummy like very elastic and gummy so I had so many doubts guys and I started doubting that all my other nails were not dry and actually they are and that's what I'm left with uh, she's a look pretty fine and uh, I don't know I just start doubting the stability of this extension like like, I felt for a moment that if I really would like to hardly rip her off, 
that extension actually I could do it so I don't know this is all my weird feeling about it I put the top coat and definitely when I put the top coat I felt the product way more stable because the top coat of certain stars is more dense but I was decided decided to not give up and just to see what to try to understand what's going on or what I did wrong so I decided to take another form and just try to see like other bases uh, dry put a little layer dry it in the lamp and see if they have such a hard time to you know disattach and as you see here the first one no problem at all disattach perfectly so it's not the form obviously I have to prove myself and try to understand what is going on here and uh, I doing the same things with actually a rubber base of Semilac and dry it in the lamp and the same things she's just coming out easily so it's not the form okay so at least I can say that the forms are actually amazing how actually uh, I felt and they are and uh, here again I'm taking the rubber base uh, uh, of Lulu and uh, again try it this way and dry the lamp and uh, she's not removing she just feels super elastic -y and just not get it out of the floor and oh my god guys can you see this this is just crazy I cannot believe at that so it's not me that I'm stupid or like I don't know how to do things so the two other bases that I tried which was the uh, Semilac extent base it just removed herself beautifully the Semilac BB base that is uh, actually rubber base it uh, removed herself beautifully and the rubber base of uh, Lulu uh, which is supposed to you know match uh, their forms right I cannot remove that this is so bizarre how that's even possible guys what I'm doing wrong I thought already everything it's my lamp I shouldn't use the portable lamp maybe it's not strong enough my lamp needs to be changed I actually I feel like it needs to be changed but it's still drying good enough oh my god this is so bizarre like she cannot I cannot disattach her oh I was able to disattach her now look look Okay, I disattach her, but that was way more difficult. Okay, so I definitely will say, like touching them, well, this is not rubber base. So this is more stable, hard. This is uh, hard as well. This is very, very elastic, you see? This is very... Look at this base. That's why I have a hard time to remove it from uh, my... Um, from the form. I found it really bizarre in a way. Um, I wanted to try actually the Stars from the Stars. And uh, here is the uh, start from the stars. I remove it. She removed herself by herself, literally. Definitely harder. Definitely harder. So, wow. Well, so what I will say that a base that is soft like that will definitely follow the growing of your nails. So, like when she growing and she like, you know, change your form. For example, my nails have the tendency to get larger like they like open themselves uh, a lot they like uh, enlarge themselves for some weird reason when they start growing so yeah i wouldn't go for that to extend my nail let's say because it's a little bit of pain to do with a form but this is me this is me this is just me uh, well, from the website they saying that you can extend a few millimeters with that but I would probably go to extender with some other something else and then put that on the top I don't know anyways and couldn't uh, solve my doubts uh, let's say so I just proceed to finish I apply my oil everywhere my cuticles so I clean up the excess 
and that's how my nails look like in the end so I have like different feelings about this uh, all this process uh, my first impression I absolutely love uh, the way the product looks like I believe it's gorgeous is uh, actually pretty easy to apply it's cool because uh, the consistency is dense it's not leaking anywhere it's great I feel like I was able to overlay them pretty well the apex is very mild uh, the extension the few couple of millimeters extension is not that bad at all and actually feel pretty stable um, I actually applied this product two weeks ago on my other hand because I want to give you uh, the full first uh, impression which is is this product resistant yes it is this kind I have like two uh, two weeks of uh, sitting there and uh, they didn't have any problem she just exactly the way i left it the product is still stable i don't have absolutely any lifting at all so i just have to say great things about that base as a base overlay base on your natural nails i feel is absolutely great as extended, uh, how they say that you should extend it just a couple of millimeters because it's meant for overlay I have slightly doubt of it, so I don't know about that. It's something that we should consider. So in the end, I'm really curious if you actually tried this this brand or if you have uh, if you ever have. Uh, uh, this kind of problem that actually I run into into this video or if you actually think that I have uh, I have to make some mistakes please let me know in the comment down below also don't forget to give to this video a thumbs up if you like it subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet and you like uh, my content and thank you again so much for watching and uh, I will see you in the next one bye